This is how to make a paper flute. Just take a piece of paper, roll it up, tape it uh, a little bit on the inside too so that the inside is nice and it's a nice tight roll. doesn't, you know, wiggle around too much because what you're going to do is about an inch or so, uh, no shorter away from the edge uh, than an inch. Uh, cut out, you know, pinch a little bit, cut out a little square rectangle, and then, let's see if I can do this, without ruining it, get a pencil, insert it between the topmost layer and the rest, and kind of aim for that hole. You want it to go up towards, like that, so it gives it a bit of bend, see like that? And then you also want to make sure that the top layer and rest of the layers are separated a little bit on the other side of this hole where the pencil lead is right now. Just a little bit in there. Too much and this won't work. Found that out after much trial and error. Uh, and all you gotta do, I mean that's really it. Uh, there's more steps you can do, but this is all you have to do. And then, with your bottom lip here, top lip here, blow through it. And if you've got the spacing right, you'll have to fiddle around with it, unless you're super lucky and get it right on the first try. Uh, it'll make a note. If it's the wrong kind of paper, like this is, uh, construction paper is too absorbent. There's a lot of moisture in your breath, and you can feel this thing get hot and uncomfortably moist uh, the more you use it and it does not work well once that starts happening. So, I upgraded to some stiffer, smoother paper and same thing, except this time, once I got oh, my fold started coming apart here, that's supposed to be down, uh, once I got that note coming out of it, uh, then I upgraded to even stiffer paper so I could make more cuts and added little holes uh, for the fingers. Uh, these ones, it really only makes like one, uh, r r two, maybe three notes on this one uh, because I didn't get the distance right. Uh, they're supposed to be certain lengths away uh, from the end to get, you know, half steps, whole steps, etc. But still, the fact that you can play uh, two or three note songs with this, even more if you actually get the measurements right, with just paper? Uh, blew my mind. I thought that was super cool. I got the idea from an Andrew Huang video. Uh, I think it was just called Paper Music. Yep.